I just want to jump around to this. See, that's what I'm talking about. Her expressions are just always perfect. What's up guys, welcome back, my name is Sean, and today we're going to be reacting to Dreamcatcher's Beautiful and Playground. So guys, we are back and we are getting into the last two songs from the Apocalypse Savers album and the last two solos of uh, the seven solos they've done. We are getting into Tommy's Beautiful, it's not beautiful, it's beautiful, two words, and uh, Kyan's Playground, and I am excited to see what the, what these two are going to be doing so far the five songs have been uh incredibly different like actually really different so i'm excited to see uh what tommy and kyan are going to be doing with their songs tommy obviously is uh the rapper but i would love to see some vocals from her as well in this song that would be pretty cool and kyan i have no idea really what to expect from kyan what uh, like kyan do you think that i i noticed the most about kyan is her expressions and stuff so i hope she can use that very well throughout this uh, special clip but for now i'm thinking let's just get right into the first one tommy's beauty Four. Alrighty, Dreamcatcher Tommy Beauty full, no captions, let's go. Okay. So we're going back to the 2000s with some high school punk rock. Okay. Okay, I like that. Okay, okay. Mm. Okay, let's do the breakdown. Okay, that's nice. Oh, this fits Sami so well. Look how much fun she's having. Look how much fun the backup that she's having. Yeah. Oh. Okay, we're still incorporating a bit of rap into it. I like that. She's a rapper, of course. Oh. Damn, she's so cool. And the bird again. And there. Okay, you cannot listen to this and not be happy. Ooh, hey, hey. Yo, you, you, I just want to jump around to this. Oh. Cause we need this part. This would be so cool at a concert. Ooh. Sorry, Jiro. Oh, that's like a break. That would suck you in. It was cool. Beautiful indeed you are, Tommy, and the song is as well. Wait, oh, there's a bit extra on this one compared to the other ones. <laughs> Everyone's trying to get to the uh, school bus, and it starts with only, with no one sitting in the. Wait a second, there's no one driving the bus. How did it start? Hmm. Well, Dreamcatcher's Tommy with uh, with beautiful. This was incredible. I love this. This uh this high school. It feels like something out of a of a, a high school movie, like high school musical or something like that, where it's like a American high school and uh, I don't know, something has just happened, they're happy, I don't know, they're going on holiday or something, and then you know, the punk rock hits and man, is it good? It's nostalgic, it's right. 
around. This is the type of music that was so popular right around when I was like a, a little one, a little one. And man, it's so damn good. Like it brings you back to all those like early Disney shows, right? Man, was this good. And I feel like it fits Tommy so well. And I would love, you know, because if you, you guys probably also know uh, Mama Moo. If you think about Moopio, Moopio also kind of ha has done a bit of this kind of um, genre music. I think it would be so cool to have like a collab between the two, Tommy and Moopio doing a song like this. I, I don't know. I, that, maybe that's just me, but I would love to see that. For now, let's move right on into Kayan's uh, Playground. Alrighty, Kayan's uh, Playground, the very last solo of the album. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh my, this is this so sweet in its sound. What was that? See, that's what I'm doing. Her expressions are just always perfect. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, not that trumpet. Yo, this place is cool. This playground, I guess. Okay. Hmm. Oh. It changed up with this piano. Is it true? I don't know. Oh, it's, that's fun. That's one of those seesaw thingies. Oh, the beat is dope. Playground. The instrumentals used in this one are so good. Oh. <laughs> See that expression again. Oh! Oh! I thought we were just getting the chorus again, but no! Damn! Oh! Oh, it's different this time! All the instrumentals have just come together now! Kion is killing it! <laughs> okay, that's fine. It makes me comfy. It makes me comfy. Okay, wow. This is one of the songs I would have loved the lyrics for. But damn, uh, Dreamcatcher's Kion with Playground. This, I feel like, is the one, the, the, the song or the solo that has uh, that is closest to one of the others, right? This, I feel like this one and Jews are kind of close in terms of, well, both concept, but also in terms of uh, of sound. But it's incredible. Man, do I like this song. It's so it's so sweet and, and kind of soothing in a way when, when Gan play, uh, plays this, sings this. It's really damn good. And I like the, this, this kind of thing there is going on where it seems like this is like uh, the... It's like in Jews one, it was like the older Jew looking down at, or looking back at Jew. And then this one is this like uh, Kayan, the normal kind looking back at the younger kind in a way right at least I, I didn't read the lyrics but I, I, there were no lyrics but at least from the uh, music video and everything also I don't know it's just so good cool I don't know where where did they record this because all of the, like these sets they're using or, or places are so cool Kayan as I said did an incredible job love the multitude of expressions she uses throughout the uh, throughout the music video she's so good at that she just has something she just has like double the face muscles or whatever you'd say but she's so good her voice is nice and sweet and soft and soothing Man. 
Yeah, guys, that was Tommy's Beautiful and Kion's Playground. The last two uh, B-sides from the album, as well as the last two solos uh, from the album. In man, incredible. This is the All of these solos have been absolutely incredible. This time we have uh, two that are very, very different because we have uh, uh, Beautiful that is over in this punk rocky high school uh, so uh, sound, right? It's really, really cool. It it definitely brings back your, your memories of watching shows that have, have these random, you know, random music parts of the show where it'd be something along those lines of this. And it's really good. I really like it. It's like this 2090s, uh, like, I don't know, maybe late 90s, right? Um, and it's incredible. It sounds so damn good. And then we have Kyan with Playground, which it is quite the opposite where it, it's not this really, um, or I wouldn't say the opposite, but it's a big change because it's a bit more soft, a bit more uh, soothing and very, very sweet sounding. Although it does, she's talking about drama and stuff. So I'm not sure if it's supposed to because uh, like we are throwing the drama away by playing at the playground or it's quite the opposite. We don't want to play with you because there's drama. I have no idea. I, I'd have to read the lyrics for that. But both songs were incredible. Let me know what you guys thought about Dummy's Beautiful and Kyan's Playground down in the comments below. And let me also know now that we've heard all seven solos, which solo is your favorite down in the comments below. And I guess I'll see you guys next time.